Alex Riddle and welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title of this video, I am doing a weight loss update and I honestly have a lot to talk about with you guys, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Please make sure to give me a like. I don't want to waste too much time on intros, but if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and join the family, become one of my lovely stars, and let's get into it. So I'm a little bit more serious in this video because I promised you guys to always be honest with you and I would not feel right if I didn't come on here and give you guys the update of what has been happening to my body and to me since I've stopped doing the diet that I talked about in my first weight loss video. It has officially been a month since I stopped taking the diet pills as well as the apple cider vinegar and despite what I thought was gonna happen, but whenever you think of diets and whenever you think of a fad diet like the one that I decided to try, you think that afterwards it will be kind of hard to maintain the weight or to like, you know, just continue. But honestly, I experienced something in the complete opposite direction. I have continued to lose weight even after I stopped taking the diet pills and it has gotten to a point where I don't even really feel like myself. I've lost about 6 pounds since my first weight loss video. In that video, I talked about how I went from 157 to 134 and currently my weight is 128. It was never my goal to lose this much weight. Like, honestly, when I first started losing weight, my first first goal was 145 and after I hit that, I was like, you know, I can go a little bit further. I want to get to 135 and when I got to 135 I felt very very happy with my body as you can see in that video like when I do my after I talk about how I literally feel like I have my dream body I'm so so happy like I was ecstatic and I was pretty amazed with how well the diet was working for me but it worked a little bit too well like right now I am working to gain my weight back I'm trying to get back up to at least 135 and it's not really because I'm experiencing a lot of like very bad health issues like I still feel fine I still feel healthy but I don't feel like myself like I've never been a skinny girl I've always been more on the curvy side and like you know with like the curves in the right places and that's how I like being you know and like when I first started losing weight I did feel like I needed to shed a few pounds but I never wanted to be this skinny and it's just like it's a lot. Like, when I look at myself in the mirror now, I I always love myself. I've always loved myself no matter what shape or size, but I've never seen myself this small, and I've never wanted to be this small, and so it, it almost feels, like, a little bit alien to me to, like, look at myself. Honestly, like, I still stand by what I said in my last video. I feel like I did a really good job of making sure to tell you guys to do your own research to make sure that there aren't any health risks for you and I haven't seen any like health setbacks like really bad ones apart from the fact that I haven't stopped losing weight and another thing that I have noticed is that I don't feel my hunger as much anymore and I haven't been taking any of the diet pills I haven't been taking any of the apple cider vinegar like when I first stopped taking the diet pills I was still taking the apple cider vinegar for about a week but very quickly I was like, I don't need to be losing any more weight and I need to stop doing that. And so I haven't been taking anything for almost a whole month now and I still don't feel hunger. Literally the way that I feel now, it's like I have to remind myself almost to eat because like I will get pangs of hunger. But if I don't eat immediately, it'll go away very, very quickly and I'll just forget that I need to eat. You know, like sometimes I'll go through my day, I'm doing things and then I realize like I barely ate that day and I'm just like that's not good like that is not healthy and I'm all about being healthy I'm all about loving myself I'm all about being positive you know and like I just wanted to make sure to tell you guys how it has affected me afterwards and to just make sure that it is what you want and to make sure that you are being careful when you are doing this like I, I don't I just want to make sure that what I'm saying is clear because I'm not trying to say that it was a bad thing because I wanted to lose weight and it helped me lose weight like, it did what it was supposed to do, and apart from continuing to lose weight, I haven't really seen a lot, you know, but that in itself is still kind of a concern to me because I don't want to be this skinny. Most of my clothes don't really fit me. Most of my pants don't fit me. Like, I need to go shopping for leggings and jeans because any pair of leggings that I put on has that little, like, crotch area extraness that I never had before because these are clothes that I had like you know 
for a while, even before I first gained weight, because my usual weight has always been around like 140, 145. That's kind of my natural, like, I feel good, that's my sweet spot, you know what I'm saying? So it's just so strange to me to not even like fit into most of the clothes that I have now, like, I don't know. <laughs> I've been working on gaining the weight back, like, honestly, like, if anyone has any theories as to why I have continued to lose weight, why I still feel, like, the hunger suppressants in my body so long after I have stopped taking them, because there are times, like, if I drink some coffee or if I, like, eat something overly sugary, it'll spike up my energy level, like, so much. It is so insane. Like, I will literally feel jittery, and I... I don't really know what that is. I've never had that before. Like, I've always been a very, like, chill person. I, I don't know. I've never had problems like this with my body, you know? And I've never actually successfully tried a diet that worked. So, like, what happens when a diet works too well? Like, that's usually not the problem most people have. But I didn't feel like I could just go on without coming back on here and telling you guys what I have been experiencing since then, and to tell you guys again, like, be careful, do your own research, and don't make the mistake I did of, like, getting caught up in the weight loss, because when I was first at my, like, highest weight, I felt like I would be so, so happy if I was just, like, smaller, if I was just a little bit, you know, and that's unhealthy, and that doesn't make me feel good because I'm always the first person to say that you should love yourself, you know, and you should always accept yourself. And even though I felt pretty comfortable and even though I still had love for myself when I was that size, I just always thought, like, I'll be so much happier. I'll feel a little bit better, like, if I'm just a little bit smaller, you know? And so when I first hit my first goal of 145, it, it didn't even cross my mind to stop, you know? It's like, and I really wish I would have now because now it's like I have to go on a weight gain journey pretty much and try to gain the weight back and try to gain my curves back and try to gain some of like the confidence in myself that I have. I just really want to feel confident and sturdy and like just healthy, you know, and I'm not saying that I feel very unhealthy right now. I'm just saying I've never been this skinny and it's really weird for me. I've done wrestling, I've done judo, I've always been a very like sturdy girl like <laughs> and now when I'm this weight, when I'm this size, I feel like I could literally like snap like a twig and it's just weird and it is just so weird to me like to feel that way because I have never felt that way like ever in my life so I'm just learning from my mistakes. If you guys are going to try this, please, please be careful and please make sure to stop when you, you know, like, I wish I would have never tried to lose those extra 10 pounds because that's kind of what pushed me even further to almost 125 and for my body, like, I, I'm a pretty heavy bone person, so my 128 looks a lot smaller than someone else's 128 just because of the way that my body is set up and so just do what is best for you. I'm really sorry that this was kind of all over the place. I was going to try to be more concise and hit points like very uniformly like I usually do. I try to like have a good pattern to my videos. I try to have a good like order to my videos but this is more of kind of like me saying how I feel because I really have been feeling a little bit different because of the weight loss and I just needed to get it off my chest and so Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you guys are careful. If you guys saw my last video, I hope you guys see this video just so you guys know what happens after. Like, and just keep it in mind. Please, please guys, be safe and be careful. If I do decide to put in a clip of how I look now, you guys will see it right after I finish talking. But if not, I'm sorry. That's my decision. Like, I don't really, I mean, I think that the beginning part of this video kind of goes over the reasons because I just don't feel like myself. Like, I... <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribing. It really helps me out and I will see you 
in my next video.